Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. Ang problem natin for today ay mula sa Hydraulics and Geotechnical Engineering. And ang problem na ito ay isang password problem na lumabas noong April 2023. And lumabas din ito noong May 2022, May 2015, and November 2013. Okay, let's start. A trapezoidal canal has a bottom width of 6 meters and a side slope of 2 horizontal to 1 vertical. Okay, ito ang kanyang bottom width na 6 meters and ito naman ang kanyang side slope na 2 horizontal and 1 vertical. When the depth of flow is 1.2 meter and the rate of flow is 20.4 cubic meter per second. Okay, ito naman ang kanyang depth na 1.2 meter and ang kanyang discharge na 20.4 cubic meter per second. And ito naman ang mga hinahanap. Compute the specific energy in meters. Part 2. If the roughness coefficient is 0 0.15 obtain the slope of the canal using Manning's formula part 3 compute the average shearing stress at the boundary over the surface of the canal and ito ang ating mga hinahanap okay start muna tayo dito sa paghanap ng dimension itong section natin. So, wala tayong top width and wala rin tayong itong side na naka-incline. So, punayin muna natin itong top width. So, draw muna tayo dito ng perpendicular line dito sa, mula dito sa bottom ng trapezoidal para makabuo tayo ng rectangular shape. So, kung 6 meter ito, 6 meter din ito, side itaas. So, ang magiging problema natin ay itong dalawang x na to. Pero equal lang yan sila. So, start tayo dito. So, isolate natin ito. And by ratio and proportion, makukuha natin itong x. So, x is divided by the depth, which is 1.2, is equal to 2 horizontal and 1 vertical. So, by ratio and proportion, ito yung makukuha natin. Okay, so, transpose muna natin itong 1.2 dito sa sa kabila and magiging 2 times 1.2. So, ang magiging sagot natin dito sa x is 2.4 meters. Okay, dito naman tayo sa kabila, i-isolate natin ang triangle na ito and makakabuo tayo dito ng right triangle. So, ito ang kanyang dalawang side, 2.4 at saka 1.2. And ito namang y, ito ang kanyang hypotenuse. So, by Pythagorean theorem, masusolve natin itong y. Okay, ang y natin is 2.68 meters. Yan. So, since kompleto na tayo dito para sa top width, so solve na natin siya. Top width is isang b plus dalawang x. Okay, top width natin is 10.8 meters. And dito na magsisimula ang ating tunay na solusyon. Bali, pang warm up lang yung kanina. So, part 1 is specific energy. And ang formula ng specific energy ay ito, velocity head plus the depth. 
So, G dito is acceleration due to gravity na 9.81 meter per second square. Ang V naman dito, ito ang ating velocity of flow. And hindi pa natin ito alam, pero magkukuha natin ito by using the formula of discharge. The formula ng discharge is cross-section area ng, ng water flow, ng water at saka yung velocity of flow. So, kunin muna natin itong cross-sectional area. Okay, ang cross-sectional area natin is 10.08 square meters. So, meron na tayong A. So, velocity of flow na lang. So, makukuha natin dito ang ating velocity of flow. Ang velocity of flow natin is 2.02 meter per second. Now, pwede na natin dito masolve ang ating specific energy. Okay, specific energy natin is 1.41 meter. And ito na ang ating final answer. Okay, proceed naman tayo dito sa part 2. Ang part 2 natin is slope of the canal. And ang formula na gagamitin natin dito ay formula ng velocity of flow or formula ni Mannings. So, dito sa formula niya, wala tayong hydraulic radius. So, solve muna natin ito. A hydraulic radius is cross-sectional area ng section divided by the weighted perimeter. Weighted perimeter is the long Y plus isang bottom width. Okay, weighted perimeter natin is 11.36 meters and masusolve na natin dito ang ating hydraulic radius. Hydraulic radius natin is 0.887 meter. And yan, masusolve na natin dito ang slope ng kanal. Ang slope ng ating kanal ay 0.00108. And ito na ang ating final answer. Okay, sa last part ng ating solution, ang hinahanap dito is boundary shearing stress. And ang formula ng boundary shearing stress ay unit weight ng water times hydraulic radius times the slope of the canal. Unit weight of water dito is 9,000. 810 newton per cubic meter. And boundary sharing stress natin is 9.4 newton per square meters. Ang itong newton per square Square meter is equal yan sa Pascal. So, pwede na natin ito makonvert. So, yan. 9.4 Pascal. And ito na ang ating final answer. Problem solved mga kapatid.
water flows at the rate of 20.8 cubic meter per second, and depth of 1.2 meters, in a trapezoidal canal, having a bottom width of 6 meters, and side slope of 1 vertical to 2 horizontal. A trapezoidal canal has bottom width of 5 meters and side slope of 2 horizontal, 1 vertical. The flow is 30 cubic meter per second when the depth of flow is 1.2 meters. Use roughness coefficient of 0.013. Water flows at the rate of 22.5 cubic meter per second, in a trapezoidal canal, having a bottom width of 6 meters, and side slope of 2 horizontal, 1 vertical, the depth of flow is 1.3 meters, use roughness coefficient of 0.013. Okay, sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel, click nilang po ang subscribe button. And kung gusto niyo po follow ang TikTok account ko, palin nilang po. And pati din sa Facebook. Click pal na rin. So maraming salamat sa inyo mga future engineer. And yun, see you po sa ating susunod na problem. Inshallah.